What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Shark Bites. That's right, we're back with another Drunk Shark Science episode for you today and mostly I'm just kind of looking forward to having a few beers to be honest. <laughs> today we're looking into the urban myth that is the black demon shark, a supposed giant killer shark that lives off the coast of Mexico. Before we start though, make sure you check out the last Drunk Shark Science episode we did where I had a go at debunking the legend of submarine. You can click this link here and give it a watch. Is my mic turned on? Last time I was actually a little bit too drunk and somehow managed to accidentally turn off the microphone during the recording. So I think we're okay this time. Not falling for that again. Also, as always guys, please do give the video a like by clicking that thumbs up icon below. It takes two seconds and you're really helping out the channel when you do it. So I've got my shitty beer ready to go. This isn't a product placement and as such, there are plenty of other shitty beers available at your local supermarket. Anyway, the black demon shark, here we go again. So first, a little bit of background about the black demon shark. Fishers have been telling tales of a giant killer shark that roams the Sea of Cortez around Baja California for many, many years. The locals claim that this shark, named El Demonio Negro, has been attacking boats intent on sinking them and killing and eating the people on board. What a nasty little bastard. So the black demon shark has been described as being a massive shark, somewhat similar to that of a great white shark, although it's been described as being jet black in color. Its size is estimated to be somewhere between 20 and 60 feet long and has the girth, supposedly, of a school bus. That's a pretty wide ranging estimate there. That's like a 40 foot range in those estimates. <laughs> Anyway, it's massive, it's dark black, it has enormous eyes, and it has a giant whipping tail that comes five feet out of the water. Oh, I've just noticed I'm drinking a Mexican beer as well. Oh, that, was, that was definitely done unintentionally. <laughs> so a lot of the fishers have been saying there have been sightings of dead whales cropping up all over the place, and they have markings on them that would suggest that they'd been attacked and bitten by a massive predator. Although I'm yet to find any evidence of this literally anywhere. <laughs> I think the slightly strange thing about the stories though is that although they've been told down the years, a lot of the alleged sightings have come fairly recently. We're talking like within the last four to five years. So that's pretty recent. Now, a lot of people online have been saying that they believe this shark to be Megalodon. God, even saying it is winding me up. <laughs> But to be fair, other than the coloration, the descriptions of El Demonio Negro, aka the Black Demon Shark, are somewhat similar to what Megalodons probably looked like back when they roamed our oceans millions of years ago. Now, I've tried to do as much research as I possibly could for you guys at home about this. I've trawled the depths of the internet and not been able to find one quote from any of the fishermen that have supposedly seen this shark. Not one. So I don't really know where these descriptions are coming from. I guess they're just being passed around by word of mouth, which obviously massively increases the chances of things getting wildly exaggerated. And also I'm imagining these Mexican fishers are likely speaking in Spanish. So there's the potential for things to just get lost in translation. Next one. So the evidence is already looking pretty thin, but I did what all good detectives do and went onto YouTube. This is not what good detectives do, by the way, guys. <laughs> anyway, on YouTube, I came across a Discovery Channel documentary that actually aired last year. Now, I did a Shark Bites episode last summer where I basically gave you my opinion on some of the Shark Week shows for 2021, listing the ones that you should definitely watch and the ones that you should definitely not watch. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do the same thing for 2022, by the way. Anyway, here's what I said about this particular show. This next one is a classic stupid Shark Week program that's gonna have no scientific basis whatsoever, and I am saying avoid. The show titled Mystery of the Black Demon Shark, I think pretty much tells you exactly what you need to know about this program. <laughs> Spoiler alert for you, El Demonio Negro is not 50 foot long, and they're not gonna find him because it doesn't exist. There's not much more I can say on this one. Just don't waste your time, guy. So after telling you all not to watch it last year, what did I do? I watched it. It features Forrest Galanti, an American TV host and self-proclaimed adventurer. Forrest is pretty well known for his programs on the Discovery Channel and Animal Planet. On his shows, he often claims that he has rediscovered a species that was previously thought to be extinct, even though other people definitely already rediscovered it before him. And then he fails to give credit where it's due, you know, to the people who actually rediscovered the animal. He's done this a bunch of times, most notably for a caiman species and also some species of sharks. He's another one of those classic people who claims to be an expert but actually he isn't really an expert and 
I just don't think he's a very good science communicator, to be honest. Wow, I sound so salty. <laughs> More beer. Oh, I've spilt it. Anyway, despite all this knowledge, I decided to watch the program regardless. And as expected, it turned out to be a big fat waste of time. <laughs> It's 40 minutes of Forrest gallivanting around, diving with shark species that aren't the black demon shark and suggesting that the black demon shark was potentially around every corner. My personal highlight was when he decided to blow up a giant inflatable whale plus inflatable whale calf and pop it on the surface of the water in an attempt to lure the black demon shark in for an easy meal. Of course, guys, it didn't work. This is not how shark scientists research sharks, by the way, guys. Like not even in the slightest. <laughs> so after 40 minutes of not finding the black demon shark with no real quotes from any of the fishers that featured on the show, they decided that the black demon shark probably wasn't real. Surprise, surprise. They're getting warmer. Now, I think it's about time we start trying to debunk this shark myth. There's a few different theories out there on what the black demon shark actually might be, and I'm gonna take you through them one by one. The first is that this is actually a real great white shark that is perhaps pretty large and also melanistic. Great whites are fairly common in the Sea of Cortez and they can get pretty big there. Back in 2012, some fishers hauled up a two ton great white shark that measured just under 20 feet in length. And then with the melanism, it's definitely possible that a shark could have a skin mutation that made it significantly darker than other great white sharks, maybe. Albinism has been seen in some shark species before, so melanism is entirely possible, although it's probably incredibly rare. And it's unlikely that a shark would survive to adulthood with a mutation like that because it's more likely to stand out from the crowd and get predated. But I think the reports of the size of this shark make it difficult to believe. I just can't see a great white shark in today's ocean reaching the lengths that have been described here for the black demon, i.e. 60 foot long. But the next theory might just explain the 40 to 60 feet in length thing. Some scientists have said they believe the black demon shark might be getting confused with whale sharks. Whale sharks are known to reach whopping sizes definitely comparable to the size estimates supposedly for the black demon shark. Although they're not black in color, nor are they particularly aggressive towards boats. I mentioned briefly in a previous Shark Bites episode that whale sharks can be pretty powerful though. And if they thrash around enough, they're more than capable of causing significant damage to small boats. It would also make sense with the whole five foot tail coming out of the water thing because whale sharks do have a really impressive caudal fin. Where's my bottle opener again? In regards to the coloration, my only guess would be sometimes when things are under the surface of the water, they can look dark and shadowy. So maybe the coloration that's being described is just a whale shark that is under the surface of the water enough for it to appear shadowy and black. It's a tough one for me, but I think I probably lean more towards the whale shark theory than the melanistic great white shark theory. But what I can definitely tell you is that it's not a goddamn megalodon. <laughs> so there we have it, guys. That's the mystery of the black demon shark debunked by a shark scientist. I'm actually pretty sure I read an article saying that we were gonna get a black demon shark movie in the not too distant future. So you can definitely expect a movie commentary on that one when it comes out. What do you think about the black demon shark? Post in the comments and let me know whether you think it's the whale shark theory or the melanistic great white shark theory. Or let me know in the comments if you think I'm chatting absolute rubbish and the black demon shark is definitely real. I dare you. Also stick around to the end of the video if you did want to catch that last Drunk Shark Science episode we did on Submarine. It's going to be on the end screen, so make sure you give that a watch. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the Shark Bite channel below where you can stay up to date with blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm trying to say. I think I need to lie down. See you next time.